I've missed that. <laughs> it's been a long week of just, I don't want to say nonsense. It's just been a long week. It's been productive, but it's long and a lot of changes in my life. But things are getting better. Um, I'm like, like I mentioned, I may have recorded this already and said it, but not uploaded it yet. But I did. Uh, I was thinking about this the other day and just kind of was like, okay, I'm starting to feel like myself again, and that's 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 a good feeling. So um, it is Saturday, May 14th, and I don't know what week it is, but I'll figure it out, put it in the title, and we'll be like up to date on what's going on. But it's way in, so. Um, even though I haven't picked up the camera, I, I attempted to do like a midweek vlog update-ish, let you guys know what's going on, chat with y'all, and then nothing happened, I just, so I'm going to weigh in myself today, so today for sure, I'm going to have content and material for you guys, and there was some things that I had been thinking like, oh, I want to, I want to, um, talk about this. So I'm gonna probably after my weigh-in take a seat like I usually do and then just kinda let you guys know what's on my mind with this whole weigh-in, weight loss. I'm so tired that I can't even think straight. Okay, so there it is. Oh man, I should, I'm, I'm carrying my tripod and it's really hard to do it and weigh myself. Okay, there we go, you guys know the routine. I should zoom in now, that about it. Three twenty four point eight. Okay, three twenty four point eight. I had to take a picture because I tried to do a screenshot of the video that I recorded my last way and to do like a comparison on like and post a photo on my Instagram and Facebook um, about like what my way was maybe in January or February till now, and it was just so dark and it just ugly, and so. This time I said no, this time I'm going to record it and then I'm going to switch my camera to camera mode and take an actual nice looking picture so that they can not both look disgusting. Um, so, I am down, I, my last way and I was 326, so I'm still going down. Um, I'm surprised, here's why, I've, especially this week, I've eaten out a lot. Um, still vegan, don't, you know, don't be like, oh my gosh, no, she's eating out. Still very vegan, still very conscious. I am very, um, I'm starting to become more and more firm. I'm not rude about it with people, but um, I really am like, I cannot have animal foods, no dairy, no animal byproducts. So, you know, I am that girl um, that I kindly ask, like, is it cooked with butter? Is there any cheese? Is there any chicken broth? Is there, you know? And um, for the most part, where I go, I mean, usually they have been very, very good about that like oh let me ask the chef and I'll come right back and um, and let you know I you know I don't tell them my whole life story of how I got where I am I just simply say I really can't eat it I'm highly allergic I will get sick <laughs> so with that usually kind of you know but they'll go and, and make sure okay I gotta make sure that it doesn't have it um, so but um, I, I really try not to be rude about it because I've, I've never had to do that in my life before. So that experience was very new to me. Like, how do I, you know, because usually when you think of a person, unfortunately, at least for me, I'm going to keep it real. When you think of a person that does that, you just think, oh my gosh, so annoying, right? Like, so picky. They've got to have, you know, that typical stereotype where they do that long name when you order Starbucks and decaf and two shots of espresso and tea, da, 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 like... I, I'm very simple, um, but that's just my personality. So because of that, when I go, when at the beginning when I would go to restaurants, I'd just be like, oh my God, like, not that I was shy, but I just was really conscious about not sounding like a B-A-T-C-H. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm very sassy and like sarcastic that sometimes they can come off like that. So I really made an effort that not, I appreciate, all your, <laughs> nobody's trying to get bit on their food that was really my main concern too but um so far it's been great so far people are understanding and you know and I've gotten to the point where like hey you know what if you're not understanding if you are you know what if you're watching this and you're a waiter and a waitress and you really hate individuals like myself just know that everyone has a story and people don't know that and you don't know that 
they may just be stuck up and just want to make your life miserable but what if they're not what if they're like me who have been going through this journey who are just trying to better their health who were who was in the hospital and physically if I eat anything animal product I feel the irritation in my stomach and it's a horrible feeling just be patient just be understanding just say hey maybe there's a reason behind it just putting it out there and you know what that's just a life lesson in general and if it's taken me a long time to realize because I'm very hard and I'm very much in like tough love and I'm still like that but I've softened up a bit in a way where it's like okay I have to be more understanding of what they're going through so just wanted to throw that out there life lessons uh, with Lolo <laughs> that's gonna be a new segment life lessons with Lolo um, so yeah so that's been so the reason I bring that up bringing it back in is um, I'm surprised because um, you know, I have I have been used to, as you guys see, cooking at home, making sure that I take my lunches to school and work, and and just you know being able to make sure that I stay on track because it was so new to me that I was scared that if I didn't take something with me, I would have no options to eat, and the last thing I was gonna do is not eat. I was not I'm refusing to do that. So I um, feel more comfortable going out, and I customize everything. And the, the reason I'm surprised, not that I lost weight. Well, yeah, I'm surprised that I lost weight, actually. I thought maybe one pound at the most, maybe a few ounces, because even though everything was vegan, obviously when you cook out, you don't have control of the amount of oil they use um, versus, you know, the amount of oil that I use or sometimes zero oil. I've cooked with zero oil. Um, so that's really why I was like, okay, maybe this two weeks especially this week because it was so busy and I was literally just like in meetings and school and just even at work it was crazy um, but I still lost I'm not exactly 324 I'm 324.8 which means that I'm closer to like the one pound and some change loss from 326 to 324.8 but that's still awesome like Still awesome that even in the week that I feel what would be considered like going out and eating the amount of did on my old diet, I would have probably gained the weight back easily. And yet I still ate vegan, still ate out, made sure they had none of the butter, none of the stuff that makes me sick. Lost weight. Like every day I'm really believing in this lifestyle and I think that's part of also the reason why I feel so great because I feel so energetic I have gained an intense amount of energy that I am excited for next year because and by next year I mean like my academic year <laughs> because it has been a rough patch with school this semester especially the last semester it kind of started and it just feels like it just kind of went over um, it has been just tough and after being out of the hospital and everything my mom and you know what just to kind of update you on that you still don't know what's really going on so we're still in a way doing but I feel like I can deal with it now I'm just amazed I I know this video this this channel started with my weight loss and it's still a main focus of it but this lifestyle that I've taken on I will probably be posting more videos and talking more about it because this is me now this is what I I am like I am on a vegan lifestyle a lot of things that I've learned I'm still doing a lot of research behind the scenes because I don't want to come on here and just say something that I've learned once and repeat it over like that's the truth so there's a lot of things that I'm going to be updating you on things that you know I've been reading and things like that but definitely that's one of them the second thing that I wanted to touch up quickly before this video and intro gets way too long is how amazing not my animal products is on my wallet like oh my gosh it is so inexpensive yes the junk food it you know vegan stuff which is not like a huge amount of food that I intake you guys know it is usually I'm just like curious about it and I'll make sure that I'll only buy like one or two items before buying more that way I'm forced to eat the rest of the week with veggies but sometimes I like to indulge but even in that as you guys have seen this even in that I still produce results but 
my results are also impacting my wallet and my moolah my dinero whatever you want to call it um it's being impacted and i think that that's also something that should be taken into consideration that not only am i feeling great losing weight and everything but <laughs> I'm honestly saving so much more money and I'm buying more food abundantly and I'm eating it and I'm still just bloop, 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 dropping, 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 dropping at the amount that I want because I feel like this time, for the first time in my lifetime, I know that this weight will most likely stay off because I do not plan on going back to eating animal products after everything that I've been through. My initial plan was just to do it until possibly I had the surgery and I think the I think that this really has helped me kind of gain my mental stability and not feeling depressed and down and and just the amount of energy that I gain and just how well I feel that why would I even try to go back to that you know what I mean like why would I try to go back <laughs> anyways those are the two updates I have that I had have been like they've been in the back of my head and I'm like I gotta you know I gotta I gotta let this out I gotta let you guys know I don't know what I'm gonna do today I, we'll see you know I've got it this week has been tough so it might just be cleaning day but sometimes I come up with clever stuff while I'm cleaning you guys know that so um yeah for sure at least the half of today I might we might do something spur of the moment with Mr. CJ it's mommy and son time today and we'll figure it out and whatever we do i bring you along hey thanks for watching make sure to follow me on all my social media at i am lolo and don't forget to subscribe